Welcome to Made in Alberta. I'm Barb Allard. For most of human history, the exchange of carbon between the Earth's surface and the atmosphere has been in balance. By this natural mechanism, the Earth's overall temperature has been maintained until the present day. Now, well into the industrial age, we're burning fossil fuels and removing forest cover at faster and faster rates. And the result is global warming. We talked with Dr. Rick Schneider from Canadian Parks and Wilderness Society about the forest clearing activities of Alberta's oil and gas sector. The oil and gas sector clears almost as much forest as the forest industry does. And that's not under a very strict control. We, we have a problem of, of cumulative impacts. Every year that footprint, if you will, that the oil and gas puts down increases and more and more. So the question is, uh, how can we still maintain that balance, get the economic benefits that we want out of extracting oil, but yet not lose the, the forest in, in the uh, process? Albertans working in our energy sector are investigating how they can reduce the amount of forest cleared, use less energy per energy unit created, emit less CO2, and develop renewable energy generation. Under Kyoto, there could even be new economic opportunities. There's a question by some companies of who's going to pay for this. And, and it turns out that uh, the folks that have been engineering Kyoto have thought quite deeply about that. How do we make it work? If you say tomorrow everyone must you know, put a cap on the amount of greenhouse gas that you produce as a company, a lot of companies just wouldn't be able to meet those targets. So they borrowed an old economic idea of credits meaning that uh, some companies who are in position to do better uh, go ahead and, and do things better. The action of the boreal forest in storing and releasing carbon over time is not well understood. Canada has not yet decided whether our carbon credit system will include forest preservation, but the benefit of reducing energy use is well accepted. Forests are sort of in, a, in an equilibrium. That means that the amount of carbon that's added by trees growing is offset by the amount of carbon lost every time there's a forest fire. It's sort of a balance, right? So you get carbon added every year, but you get carbon lost, and it's roughly neutral. So there's a great store of carbon there, and it's great to keep it there, but it's sort of not a, shouldn't, people shouldn't think of it as a solution to us just going ahead and not worrying about burning all of our fossil fuels because the forest will take care of it. Alberta's environmental community believes that we now have an opportunity to become leaders in new energy and forestry practices. But now as the pressure has mounted and we know that there are all kinds of implications of, of doing those sort of traditional practices, uh, changes are occurring and we're seeing innovation, but it's not yet widespread. Join us for future episodes of Made in Alberta as we learn more about the science of global warming and climate change, and more importantly, what Albertans are doing to address the problem. Mm -hmm.